Let's have a look at couple of examples. Computer and information specialists collaborate with a variety of workers. They coordinate activities with management executives, equipment suppliers and all other contractors. Since the 1990s, computer and information systems manager occupations have expanded at a rate faster than the rate which most other occupations have expanded. Now we have our clue over here which is since and I've already discussed this before. If you have this word, there is a high probability that we are looking at present perfect tense. And when you're talking about present perfect tense, that means we are looking at has or have plus third form of the verb. And that is there. Let's read the sentence again and see whether it qualifies as a present perfect tense or not. Since the 1990s, computer and information systems manager occupations have expanded. It is perfectly fine. So since means that it started way back in the past, but it still has an impact in the present. So that is why our option choice A is completely fine. Had expanded is basically past perfect tense, which is wrong. We are using since, so it is. it has to be present perfect tense. Will expand, this is future tense. Expanded is basically simple past tense, so we definitely don't need this as well. Next example, Martha Graham, an American dancer and choreographer, is known as one of the foremost pioneers of modern dance. Building upon the foundation of turn-of-the-century dancer Isadora Duncan, Graham brought this art form to a new level with her introduction of dance techniques that at first horrified and then later won over the American public. By the time she retired from the stage in 1970, she gave hundreds of performances and permanently altered the course of dance in the United States. In the United States. We have our hint over here that is by the time and I've already discussed this before whenever you have this phrase you should immediately understand that we are basically looking at past perfect tense and when we are talking about past perfect tense we are basically looking at had plus third form of the verb so this is wrong so you can't use simple uh, past tense this is definitely wrong we need she had given by the time she retired from the stage she had already given so many performances that should be the correct version now let's have a look at the option choices. A is wrong. She will give. No, this is definitely wrong. We need past perfect tense, not future tense. She would have given. This is also future tense. Definitely wrong. She had given. This is past perfect tense. And this is our answer. Next question. Each July, one of the world's largest folk art festivals bring together artists from every corner of the globe for a vast and colorful international bazaar. Now the verb is underlined. You should immediately get a hint that it's subject verb agreement. And the rules are very simple. The subject and the verb should agree with each other. Let's read the sentence again and try to identify the subject. Each July one of the, we have one over here. We've already talked about this. If you have one, any, or everyone in a sentence, that makes the verb singular, subject singular, and the verb singular as well. So one of the world's largest folk art festivals brings together. The verb should be singular, which is basically this brings together. And that is option choice D. Let's look at the next question now. For several weeks, more than 200 artists from 60 countries gather to offer handmade masterworks. The festival is located in Santa Fe, a destination rich in culture and history. The work of master artists lines the walls as market goers are given the opportunity to find one of a kind treasures and meet their creators. This is again the same topic subject verb agreement. So over here the verb is singular. Now we have to look at the subject and, and make sure that the subject is singular as well. The work of master artists. So over here in this sentence the subject is this. The work which is singular. The verb is singular as well. So that means there is agreement between the subject and the verb. So it's completely fine. The answer is option choice A. Another interesting question. Kite flying has a long history in Japan. According to legend, the first kites were flying nearly 1400 years ago. We have a date here, so we need past tense. And with were, you use the third form flown. The first kites were flown nearly 1400 years ago. You can't say were flew or were fly. That will be wrong. So that is option choice B. Let's continue to the next question. Since that time, we have a hint here, you should immediately mark up since. And when you have this word, uh, you should also understand that you are looking at present perfect tense. Because since means something that started in the past and is still going on or it has an impact in the present. Since that, uh, that time, kite flying had remained. No, this is wrong. This is past tense. Kite flying has remained. 
that is option choice d this is basically present perfect tense would have remained will have will remain these are future tenses so they are definitely wrong and we have already talked about option choice a that is past tense moving on kites are made from a bamboo framework and layers of fashy paper paper made by hand in the traditional style colorful narrative illustrations and legendary heroes from japanese folk folk decorates their surfaces the verb is underlined so you should immediately get a hint that it can be subject verb agreement question so if the verb is singular the subject should be singular as well let's read the sentence again and let's have a look at the subject colorful narrative illustrations and legendary heroes from japanese folk folk and and always makes the subject plural so the verb should be plural as well so this is wrong it should be decorate their surfaces which is option choice b last question every region of the country has its own distinct kite design with more than 130 varieties in all for this reason there is no single design that is typical this is definitely wrong and i think this is easy when you have this word there is no single design we should have singular verb that is so our answer is basically option choice c another interesting example in a village at the edge of the rainforest the skilled and nimble fingers of an old woman bends fabric now this is easy the verb is underlined you have to immediately look at the subject and the subject over here is the skilled and nimble fingers so the subject is basically plural because of the word and the verb should be plural as well but this is singular so they don't agree with each other so the verb should be bend our answer is option choice c okay the skilled and nimble fingers of an old woman bend fabric and straw into graceful baskets the baskets are the perfect size to hold papayas but they also held centuries of craft and tribal identity now this is definitely wrong why do i say that because if you look at the sentence it is basically present tense the baskets are the perfect size so you can't straight away like in the next clause jump to past tense it does not make sense you need to remain in the same tense so it should be in the present tense now let's have a look at this the baskets are the perfect size to hold papayas but they are also holding present continuous tense basically fits over here so they are also holding craft a century of craft and tribal identity now we should look at look at the option choices A is definitely wrong. They would also hold. See, you can't shift to future tense. That's also wrong. They would have also held. This is completely wrong. And future tense as well. They are also holding. See, this is present continuous tense, which is present tense. So the answer is this. Moving on. Basket weaving is one of the most widespread crafts in history. It originated in the Middle East around seven thousand years ago and spread to every continent except Antarctica. The preservation of ancient baskets is difficult. However, because most items are made of natural materials like wood, grass and vines which decay rapidly. Now this is pretty simple. The verb is underlined, so you should understand that it can be a subject verb agreement question. It is singular. Let's have a look at the subject. The preservation of ancient baskets is difficult. Now the subject over here is preservation. Please be careful. Baskets is not the subject. The preservation is difficult. It makes perfect sense. always put the subject and the verb next to each other and see whether they agree with each other or not and this is perfectly fine so the answer should be a no change okay moving on um however because most items are made of natural materials like wood grass and vines which decay rapidly as a result much of the history of basket making would be lost again this is definitely wrong because you can't suddenly jump from present tense to future tense you need to stay in the present tense because we are talking about uh, present tense throughout so over here it should be as a result much of the history of basket making has been lost it should be present perfect tense because we are talking about a process something that started in the past and it has an impact in present as well so that leaves us with option choice b a is definitely wrong that is future tense C is also future tense D is also future tense you can easily eliminate the option choices last question on the other hand weaving techniques which are often passed along from generation to generation has been preserved this is again not making sense why because we just talked about weaving techniques techniques is basically plural so the verb should be plural as well weaving techniques which are often passed along from generation to generation have been preserved this was simple subject verb agreement question So that is option choice B.